Spanish tutor and today we're going to be talking about football it's all about football yes and as you can see I am in my football jersey or yeah uh, JC representing Ghana because I'm a Ghanaian aside the fact that I teach Spanish yes so Ghana is my first country but aside that all Spanish speaking country in the competition right yes you do have my support after Ghana so, so long as Ghana is still in the match I'm all out for Ghana but if it happens that we are out of the game at any point in time then I'm going to support any of the Spanish speaking countries but for now it is all about Ghana and the World Cup yes so you can in Spanish you can say La Copa Mundial the football that's FIFA World Cup or you could simply say El Mundial and it's still correct okay yeah, so um, this video is going to be in two folds and um, I'm going to be talking about my um, thoughts. I'll be sharing my thoughts on the previous matches we had and then the second part of the video will be about words um, in football in Spanish. Yeah, so vocabularies you can use in football in Spanish, right? So before we proceed with the video, please, if you have not subscribed to the channel, I need you to subscribe right now. It's the red button down there with the inscription, subscribe, okay? All you have to do is to just tap on that button and then you subscribe to the channel. It doesn't take anything away from you. And then also you can hit the notification bell so that any video at all that I upload, you don't miss out on them or you are the first to watch, right? Yes, so I'm going to be talking, like I said earlier, I'm going to be talking about, yes, and that just so please if you want um, copies of the JC, you can contact, I'm going to leave the contacts in the description box or maybe I'll leave it somewhere in the video. Yes, please do contact him for all your JC needs. It's not just about the Ghana JC, but any football club at all in the world, you can you can have the JC. So please do contact him. Yes, so um, back to the video. I, I just want to share my thoughts about our previous matches. So far, we had played two matches. We had played our first game that was on Thursday 24 with the Portuguese, and then we had the second game with is it was South Korea? Yes, that was on Monday um, 28. Yes, that was on Monday 28. And so with the first game. You know, I missed the first half of the game. I I couldn't watch the first half, but I I, I was able to watch the second half. And according to what people were saying, the second half of the game were playing quite a defensive game. So, so I don't know how true that is because I didn't watch it. But those of you who watch, maybe you can confirm that. But then, yes, I was told that we were playing. Um, a defensive game a lot of the time because the Portuguese had the goal in their possession a lot more than we had it in our possession. Yes, but then when I was watching the second half, I I, I, I felt that we did much better. Well, not much better because I didn't watch the first um, half. So I felt that we were doing great with the second half of the game because a lot of the time we were anytime the Portuguese had the ball in their possession, somewhere somehow we managed to get it back to ourselves and then play it. And then also I realized that we tried we we, we had a number of shots as in to the goal to their goal post. Yes, there were so many targets, or how do you call it shots, right? Yes, we attempted so many shots that could um, easily get us many goals. Yes, I think through that we had our two goals scored. And one thing I also want to mention was that you know I I you know the penalty for the penalty I think we all know that come on it wasn't supposed to be so right and we felt cheated I mean anyone who feels cheated will not feel happy about the fact that you have been cheated and that was the feeling for us and we believe that we could it could have been a draw or something yes and on a general note I also believe that we could have done better we could have won the game easily won the game and I want to talk about the goals of the Portuguese so they had three goals in all and I want to say that the goals we had the goals we scored were authentic goals 
I'm going to explain why I'm, I'm saying it, they are authentic. So you realize that during the match, the, the two goals we scored, it was in the middle of like heat where the Portuguese were there to actually defend the the ball kind of thing. But we still scored. But the three goals the Portuguese scored, it was something so easy on their part. The first one was a penalty. I mean, that was just so easy. And even with the penalty, I was praying to God that this keeper is going to catch the ball and or oh, Ronaldo wouldn't, wouldn't be able to score the goal. Like, I was just so confident that it wasn't going to be a goal, but he scored it anyway. So, yeah. And, but it didn't discourage me, you know. The other two goals they scored was because I felt, you know, when um, they scored the penalty, we scored our one goal and we're so excited. In fact, I screamed. It's been a long time I screamed like that when we scored our first goal to equalize with the Portuguese. And so I think within that period, we were so excited and we, we were not in position, sort of. So the Portuguese easily, our defense wasn't really strong. So the Portuguese easily had their way into scoring us. And then the next minute they scored again. I'm like, oh no, this is a mistake on our part. If we were there to defend the ball, it wouldn't have been a goal. Yeah. So I believe that the goals, the three all three goals that has been scored by um, the Portuguese wasn't really a struggle for them because we did a mistake on our part. Yes. So imagine we were in our various positions on the football pitch. I don't think you would have scored that goal. But our two goals we scored, everyone was there. Like the Portuguese were there to defend the ball. But we scored it. Like it was a tough one for us to score. So I feel that we did a great job. Our goals were very authentic. They were like real goals. Real goals. We, we, we aimed the do we end goals? I don't know, but yes. So I was so confident in the Black Stars. I was so proud of them because I think they did a great job. Yeah, so even though they scored us, I still had much confidence that we we're going to win our subsequent matches. And of course, yes, yesterday we won. We, we, we won 3 2, right? Yesterday's match, I couldn't have, okay, Monday, because I don't know when I'm, I'm, I'm uploading this. So Monday's match, we. You know, I couldn't get a chance to watch. I was working, of course, so I was just following the updates on Google. When you type Google uh, in Google FIFA World Cup 2022, it's going to give you a live update, not in video, but in text. So you're going to see the country, the scores, the time, and then if there had been scores, who scored the goal like that, and the time will be reading. So it's more like a live update. Um, so I was just following from there and then also where I was also following was you guys your status oh my god every single minute in fact every single second someone is putting something on their status and obviously it's about the football game that was ongoing at the time so you know I'll go to the status side I wasn't really watching like tapping on a name to watch the status I, I was just watching the last um, especially when it's in the text format you would see the last messages you don't you don't really have to tap the person's name to watch the last status before you see sometimes you will see the whole or the entire message but i think that majority of the messages or the text the status updates the messages were very clear enough and they were very short so at least i was getting an idea of what was going on if could you score everybody would type in could you it like that and then when aziki Atizigi, yes, and when Atizigi, I really liked the video. And when Atizigi was also was doing well, well, everybody was typing Ziggy Ziggy, like stuff like that. So it gives me an idea that oh, you know, they are trying to score us, but our goalkeeper is doing an awesome job over there. Yeah, so that was how I was getting my update while I was working, and then finally we scored the goal. But can you imagine that? Before the match, or let's say, I think about 11 minutes or a few minutes before the match, I recorded a video of myself predicting the scores. And the video I made, it was just a random video. I didn't intend to post it anywhere. I was just doing my own thing. You know, funny, yeah, stuff like that. Basically, so yeah. I need you 
video guys so stay tuned and yeah we're going to win today's match three two and scoring three goals yes. and when i was predicting i didn't even think i just said what i had to say yeah so when we won the match i forgot that i even predicted and it came to pass it was later in the evening i was going through my phone my gallery and i saw the video i'm like oh let me watch the video again and then i, I listened to the things i said i'm like oh i actually predicted and i got it right so i was so excited i'm like oh wow this is so cool like that good feeling you predict something especially a football game that is quite hard to predict and it will come to pass you know i was just so happy about that yes and so yeah that's it with the football game so far and right now okay we have to um like i said i don't know when this video is going to be out but by the time it will be out some information might have already been known or something yes so as i'm speaking now we are yet to play our final game in our group which is with uruguay yes so and portuguese or portugal had had scored uruguay which leaves us to either winning or drawing to make it to the next level or stage of the competition and hmm, i still have the confidence that we are going to win the match or draw worst case and we'll qualify to the next stage and guys let's be hopeful we could actually win the world cup you know that feeling and uh, it will just be a very good feeling or even if we make it to semi-finals to finals or quarter finals first right because the finals semi-finals you know even if we make it to that stage you know it's 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 quite some achievement or an accomplishment on the side of black stars yes so i think that is it with the, my thoughts on the football matches we have had all right so let me know your thoughts about everything i have said and people were complaining about VAR and all that in fact it was the first time i got to know about what VAR actually means because a lot goes into football match. I also learned something from one of my friends. Maybe I want to share it with you. I learned something called pack the bus. And I was told that when we were playing with South Korea, we actually, when it was getting to the end, latter end of the game, or for the game to be over, we actually packed the bus. Okay, so I'll tell you what that means. I don't know if the rest of you guys know about this team. I don't know, but this is what I learned from a friend. So packing the bus means everyone will be playing a very defensive game. So what it means is that when we re because we realize that we have won at that moment, though the game wasn't yet over, and we have a few more minutes to, for the game to end, we would let the ball be in their possession. But then when we are launching an attack, a lot of us or a lot of the players come to the defensive side to defend so a lot of the players every like we know that every player in a football match has a role he has has a role to play in the game striker midfielder keeper defenders what else do we have yes all of those things uh -huh. and so yeah so they all have their roles to play but when we pack when when a team packs the bus majority of them leave that role and they come to defend the ball from you know entering the goal post so that we don't they don't score a goal that's what packing the bus mean and i'm told that when team pack the bus it's very hard or difficult to score a goal yes yeah, so um that is for my thoughts or analysis so i think i did a good analysis right i'm not that bad yes so yes yeah, so the next part of the video right now i'll be talking about the words or vocabularies you use in football yes so don't go anywhere please stay tuned and um do also subscribe if you are so you are you have watched this point and you have still not subscribed please do also subscribe and turn on them it encourages me when you subscribe it will also help us grow and encourage me to give you more content interesting content so thank you so much and yes so now let's move into the next phase of the video there are many vocabularies you can find in football um, but for the purpose of this video, I'll be talking about just two areas and in our next video, 
i'll talk about other two areas so in this video i'm going to be talking about the types of games that is one and two i'll be talking about the team okay i'll be giving vocabularies or words under the type of games one and two what is made up of a team in a football um we have different types of games in a football match so we have the world cup we have the champions league we have the copa america we have the premier league we have friendly match all right so if you want to say world cup in spanish you'd say la copa mundial de football la copa mundial de football if you want to say champions league you'd say la liga de campeones and if you want to say the copa america you'd say la copa america la copa america premier league is primera división primera división friendly match you'd say el partido amistoso el partido amistoso all right now if you want to say football team or soccer team you'd say un equipo de football un equipo de football so now let's talk about the team or what is made up of a team in a football game right so like i said a team is called el equipo el equipo lineup is la alineación then we have el jugador which means player el jugador player el futbolista football player el futbolista football player then we have el golero or el arquero or el portero they all mean goalkeeper the goalkeeper alone has several names yes it also depends on the region yes and so we have el delantero el delantero which is a striker or forward we have el goleador el goleador which is goal scorer then we have el mediocampista or el volante they both mean midfielder then we have el media punta el media punta which means playmaker we have el defensa or el defensor which means defender and then we have el central which is center back we have el capitan el capitan which is captain el técnico el técnico which is the coach now i would end here but before i end i'm going to give a few sentences or few phrases we can use and then in our next video i'll talk about the pitch and then i'll talk about other vocabularies we can find in football right so um if you want to say that ghana won the match or the game against south korea you'd say ghana ganó el partido contra Korea del Sur. Hmm. South Korea in Spanish is Korea del Sur. Korea del Sur. Okay. So our sentence is Ghana ganó el partido contra Korea del Sur. And if you also want to say, do you think we would win the next match? Yes. Yeah, so like I said, our next match is with Uruguay. So if you want to say or you want to ask do you think we will win the next match you would say crees que podremos ganar el partido próximo crees que podremos ganar el partido próximo right if you want to say come on like in the course of the game you, you you're trying to as though you are the coach on the field in Qatar. And you want to say come on guys or come on you could just say vamos vamos yes vamos or if a goal has been scored and you want to say what a goal you could say que golazo que golazo what a goal right so thank you for listening to this part of the video yeah guys so i believe that you have learned a lot from the words and the phrases 
you know, you can find in football in Spanish. I myself had also learned a lot. You know, football is not something um, I do on a regular basis like the boys or the guys do. Even though I am a fan of Barcelona and Messi, but I don't watch the football matches and all that. Yes, I just hear what of the things you do basically. Yeah, so this is also some of the things I have learned are also new to me, which I am glad that I shared them with you so we all learn them. Yeah, so you tell me in the comment section which is your favorite word or expression you have learned from today's video. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Um, do all to subscribe again if you have not subscribed till this point and also turn on your notification bell and do all of those things for us I really do appreciate them and of course share them across share them with friends and people to watch and yeah Thank you so much and I am going to catch you in the next videos Muchísimas gracias por ver este video y hasta luego. See you another time. Adios